Hello there, and welcome to Photo Mode Snap, a new show from MinMax. I'm Ben Hansen, that's uh, Professor Kyle over there. What we're doing here is we're going to review screenshots taken by the MinMax community. If you support us at any tier on patreon.com slash minmax 2 ends, we have a post up there asking for your submissions. A bunch of lovely people have submitted their favorite screenshots they've ever taken, and we're going to be reviewing those and assigning them a very specific score, Kyle. Just to be clear, these need to be screenshots that have been taken by the community members. You can't just pull your favorite screenshot from your favorite website. This needs to be raw and honest. Yeah, and and we should we should make it clear. Like you haven't looked at these. We're no. both seeing this for the first time. That's right. Are you ready? I'm prepared. James Smith, huge member of the Minmax community. Let's see what he's got. Very interesting. Oh, this what? is Uncharted Four. Oh. So Sam Drake, there's a couple things here that stand out to me, Smithy. Um, I like the vertical crop. Not something I was expecting in a lot of photo mode snap pictures here. I mean, beauty's pretty high just because it's like they're using shadows well. It's very noir. Well, specifically, also, I love how the most well-lit part is just basically his tattoo, his little free bird tattoo on his neck there. I think that's I think that's very nice. See, I'm lower on storytelling. It looks like they brought Sam into a studio to get a nice, like, we're taking an ad for, we're taking a, a picture for a fragrance ad. Yeah, you can see him smelling something. Hey, James Smith, well done. Be funnier next time, though. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel White, thank you for submitting your photo. Let's see what we got. Oh, <laughs> hang on, this gets better and better, okay. Is this a Far Cry? This is, is Far Cry 5. Gonna... What is happening in the background there? Are those bales of hay? Kyle, you're not paying attention to the important thing here. What am I missing? Oh. <laughs> Beauty. I mean, we're talking big sky country here. And, you know, the beauty of new life. <laughs> it's true. I think there's a lot of comedy here, but I think there is storytelling to the fact that the, the man by the fence is really engaged with what is happening and seems to be interested. <laughs> the story that I'm telling myself is the man by the fence, that was either his cow and the neighbor's bull has infiltrated the pen and is humping the bejesus out of his heifer, or maybe he's in love with the cow and he sees this as competition and that's why he has that gun mm -hmm. and he's ready to blow his load. <laughs> of bullets, that is. Christ. Timing, we gotta give it up for timing. We say timing, but this could be an all-day affair. He could be like Sting out there. I suppose that's true. The humping is funny, but I think the fact that they made it not the, the center of the picture right. makes it funnier. Excellent work. I didn't expect Far Cry 5. Daniel White, thank you. Thank you for your submission. Robert Marquart. Ooh. Oh, this took me well. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Here's here's my first reaction. A little cluttered. Yes, this does conjure some narrative ideas to me. They've overcome something or they're getting ready to go against something big. I haven't played a lot of this Assassin's Creed, so I don't have the context. Comedy. Uh, I'm looking at every inch of the photo to try and see if there's something that I find funny about it. Well, I guess it is kind of funny that um, they thought those gods existed and then they didn't. That was, yeah, that was a killer prank. <laughs> History's greatest prank. But hey, great job, Robert. A Nani artist. Uh, it could be Van Gogh. We have no idea. <laughs> Hang on. Wait a second. <laughs> this is Jeff Markiafafa's picture. Get out of here, Jeff, I'm your cheater. Zeros across the board. Although comedy, I think we can both agree 1,000, right? 1,000. <laughs> Ian T. Clark, let's see what you got. What are we looking at here? This is oh, Horizon, Horizon Zero, Zero Dawn. Dawn. This is lovely. Man. This is very good, Ian. Yeah. It's really pretty with the, the grass out of focus in the foreground. I feel like that's her at the end of a tough day of dinosaur, robot dinosaur wrangling or something. Absolutely. You know? Oh, hang on a second. With timing, the rays from the sun is a factor in timing. Is it not? Oh, yeah, because there is a day-night cycle in that game, isn't there? Funny to see a hero just maybe taking a tinkle in the in the grass, if that's what's <laughs> happening here. <laughs> I, that, yeah, I assume funny. we're both on the same page. That's what's happening here, right? But just seeing a, you know, action hero protagonist just relax is pretty rare. Yeah. You know? Well done, Ian Clark. Alex Brinegar, what do you got? Oh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Hmm. I'm not super impressed by this. I guess Dragon Age Inquisition probably doesn't have the options to remove UI and stuff like that, but... Storytelling. Uh, not bad. Be I feel like the yeah. UI might actually help it in this case, because it's telling a story. I wish everybody's HP was extremely low, but... Timing's actually pretty good with the dragon. Comedy. Everybody knows that it's laugh-out-loud funny that Dragon Age Inquisition won Game of the Year awards in 2014, but it's not a factor <laughs> for this photo. 
And it's nice that they brought us a photo from a game where there's not a photo mode in it. Yeah, that shouldn't discourage anyone, I hope, but... We love you, buddy. Thanks for sending it in. Dr. Big. Dr. Big. Oh, no. He's okay. playing to Kyle now. All right, Dr. Big. Well, I mean, just it doesn't get points just because it's Zelda. I know. Yeah, is that what you're implying? Tell that to the numbers you're about to say. Okay. Well, obviously, beauty is 1,000 because Link and Ganondorf <laughs> are present. No, the the background's very pretty. I don't know. The framing is a little funky. Like, it just feels it like it's like the, the castle should be centered. It looks like yep. they cropped the photo, but we can I get into that I want to bring the camera to the lower right and have that storytelling. This is a tale as old as time. Well, from 98. Now, what do you think about it? the fact that it's Young Link fighting Ganondorf? Yeah, see, that's interesting because Young Link never fought Ganondorf. He only saw him riding away. So it's interesting that he's like he's there earlier and he's doing a karate kick. Yeah. <laughs> Link's pose is pretty fantastic, and it is hard to get a shot like this in Smash Brothers. Uh, you can go frame by frame in Smash Brothers photo mode. Oh, you can? You can. There we go. Hey, well done. Thank you so much, Dr. Big. <laughs> Flaming queso, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Flaming queso. How are we supposed to review this? Storytelling. <laughs> so <laughs> they're combining into the same person who's a super drunk that loves the Bible? Is that the story did, that this is telling? Yeah, I mean, and did did we catch them in the act or are they they seem perfectly fine with it? I can't tell. <laughs> oh, you're going with a lovemaking move. I was going with well, some sort of hybrid monstrosity. Oh, yeah. See, I was thinking more, not even necessarily lovemaking, but just uncle wants to learn. So he shoves a book through his gut? <laughs> Good photo. I really like this one. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff I want. <laughs> Good job, Greg Flaming Queso. Rizzled Gaming. <laughs> <laughs> Storytelling, this is strong. This is very strong. So I think the leather jacket uh, does a lot of narrative. It's a factor. Uh, I'm very confused about the jacket. Yes. <laughs> Timing. Uh, yeah, I don't think um, they're going anywhere. Customization. I don't like the sepia, though. Yeah. I think that plays more into the comedy, but like, it's not. A, it doesn't make it a better photo. Excellent work, Grizzled Gaming. Pablo P. Old PP himself. <laughs> This is very good. Low beauty, though. I'm going to go 300 for beauty. But the buddy is off the charts. Storytelling. The fact that he looks surprised by what he made <laughs> helps the story here to a large yes. degree. Great butt, Pablo. Jose Amentoy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is wrong with that zombie? Is like a texture missing or is that... I'm sorry, Freaker. Yeah, yeah, please. Say it correctly. The texture has not popped in on this zombie, on this freaker. Honestly, that's I think that's points to timing. <laughs> I think you're right. Excellent work, Jose. We say yes way, Jose. We say that, Kyle. Uh, yes way, Jose. Fielding. Thank you for your submission, Fielding. Oh, my boy, Blackout. Interesting choice, Fielding. Well, he's literally Fielding. We've been stingy with the beauty points. I would give this one some beauty points. The UI hurts it. Storytelling, I love the idea of this soldier forfeiting the fight. Just looking out to the sea, maybe thinking about uh, David Geffen's yacht over there. Pretty low for timing, I think. It is in the lobby, it looks like. Yes. I think it's slightly amusing. Really? I think, I'd, I'd give it a zero. What are you talking about? What's funny about this? The idea of a soldier sitting peacefully in this non-peaceful game. I think this is a really interesting choice. I like this one. Jesse Y. All right. What? Now, this is obviously from inside. <laughs> what a shot. The beauty is very high for me. Really? I would go, yeah. Just with the, cent the centered mailbox, the depth of field apples. It's well framed for its, like, ugly nature in a way. It's an interesting one. Storytelling. I don't know that there's a lot here. It's just a nice shot of a villager in their tent. Well, I think where I beg to differ is the idea of the villager looking off into the mist um, mm. It almost looks like it's an afterlife of sorts, like he's pitching a tent in hell. Like a, some, maybe they're in some kind of limbo. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Good job, Jesse Y. Why? Because you're great. Mef G, thank you for submission. What do you got? <laughs> this, wait. Mef G? Yeah. That's Jeff M. 
No doubt that hot cock is hilarious. I mean, beauty 1000, storytelling 1000, timing 1000, comedy 1000, customization zero, but I mean, come on, it's disqualified. Get out of here, Jeff. I'm Bob Buell, master of the gif, but can he handle the still image? Ooh. Oh, that's good. All right. Ooh. This is a good shot. <sighs> storytelling... I will say, even without the context, like, a small character with an imposing, like, giant creature in the background, even without the game, I, th I still think that's, like, a good, like, But if you 500. don't have context, I don't think you have a scale of reference for how big that thing is. Is this on the plateau where you fight the Third Colossus? I'm confused why you can see the castle so clearly. I don't remember being that close. Oh. Maybe they woke it up and then walked away? Wait a second. How did they do this? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Excellent work, Bob. The gift master has become the still master? Ryan Torberg. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, what do you think of beauty? This is a zero. Uh, I mean, the sure. facial hair alone, just <laughs> horrific. I don't think you've played as much Death Stranding as me. No. This is pretty standard. Comedy. Yeah. I would go 400 because it is, It's there's like a handful of expressions that he can do, and this just happens to be one of the funny but ones. But seeing that did make us chuckle. The barometer for making you laugh out loud is 500. <laughs> we found it. Uh, okay, great. Uh, thank you so much, Ryan Torberg. Michael Newman. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay. okay uh, you know, this actually hits a lot of, like, I think all the categories are actually kind of high for this one. Yeah, it's a, what do they call it? It's a all-around baseball player. Yeah. Storytelling off the charts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think There's a lot that could be happening he's here. He's the captain of, of a beautiful ship, the good old face ship. Then the ship crashed, and now he's freezing to death after the ship sank. Customization. Not much going there, on here. Well, I, I actually, I think there is, because they have the white border. Okay. And then I think they did apply some post something to make it look Desaturated a little bit. Thank you so much, Michael Newman. Great one. This person's name is not Jeff M. <laughs> Damn it, Jeff M. Stop winning photo mode snap. You're not eligible. Get out of here. Thank you for all the submissions. And, you know, congratulations to what is clearly the best photo. I, I think Hanson and I both agree that that was the winner. If you want us to review your screenshot in the future, you can submit your photo on patreon.com slash minmax2ends. If you're a supporter at any tier, we'll have a post up there asking for a link, and that's where we're pulling these from. So if you're interested and you think you can top any of these photos from those respective games, please consider supporting us, and please help share the show with a friend. Thanks so much, everybody. MinMax is a Patreon about games, friends, and getting better. The deepest dive is the best, most thorough discussions about games on the internet. Prove us wrong, please. The MinMax Show podcast airs every Thursday. Patreon supporters vote on what we stream every single week, and a whole lot more. Give us a shot, try subscribing to the YouTube channel, and we hope we can win you over.